Hey guys, welcome back to part 2 of Can I Fix It? In the previous video I showed you two shikishis and on both of them I failed drawing or coloring and tried to fix it. If you haven't seen the previous video you can find a link in the description box down below. I can highly recommend you to watch it first. Before I start, I want to quickly announce that I have now a PO box where you can send me things like letters, fan arts and so on if you like. And I made a German art channel here on YouTube where I'm going to make my voiceovers in German, kinds of blogs about art specific things, art talks and so on. Link is in the description box down below, as well as other information like the PO box address, materials I used in this video, etc. So today I want to show you if I was able to fix the other shikichi that's left. I tried to work with watercolors and it was not a great idea. The paper literally ripped off. Maybe I was too harsh or I used too much water. I have no idea what went wrong because I saw some shikichis on the internet that were colored with watercolors. So it should have worked but maybe the shikichi paper is too soft so you need to work quickly or maybe I'm just a watercolor noob and both mediums hate me. <laughs> Anyways, I instantly had the idea of turning her hair into something plant-based with a lot of leaves so I could stay with the green theme, which also helped me to fix the green spots on her face. I strongly use polychromos for outlining to make it all look more softer, especially on her face and to add deeper shades. After making all these hair and leaves and outlining them, which was some work, I forgot how exhausting it can be to use pencils so much. You always need to sharpen them after drawing some strokes. I wish I would have stayed with the white background. But I was so into gold fever and there was no turning back as I started. And right at the beginning I realized that it don't fit that much. But I think the gold was a bit too much or too gold. Maybe a lighter tone would have made a big difference. Um, I think the white background would have fit better. But I also think that I could have made more leaves and filled almost the whole picture with it, especially on the bottom right. However, it's not possible to turn back time and it's no help to regret things, but I think it's good to reflect your own art and to be able to criticize yourself without pulling yourself down. Reflecting your art will help you to make things better in the future. I can gladly say that I'm a bit over the gold fever now and I will definitely think more about combining colors before adding them. This is what I've learned from it. Every art piece you create can teach you better. At the end it even looks a bit like I painted on a golden plate, but I'm still happy that I've decided to somehow fix the shikishi. And it will be now available at my Etsy store with a lot of other things. Link is in the description box. Don't forget to take a peek if you're interested in supporting my art. And for those who want to get more inspired by my art, there are also my own art books available with a lot of sketches and colored artworks. And if you want to get your book signed, just leave a note within your order. F. Chenoni asks, one question for you. What was your parents' reaction when you told them you wanted to be an artist or full-time artist? Were they supportive and how do they feel about it today? I'm curious because even if I'm old enough to live without them, they always sneak into my life telling me that I didn't make the right choices, etc. for the future career, um, career, <laughs> career they want me to have. Uh, my parents always knew that I wanted to become an artist and they were always supportive and they still are supportive. But of course, every parent is always worried about his child. So my mom always told to me that she wanted me to become happy. I should do the things that I wanted to do. They never pushed me to my limits. They just 
always gave me the freedom I needed. I still remember when my mother found some hentai drawings I made when I was 14 or 15 years old and of course I said no I, I didn't drew this no no <laughs> and then my mother was like oh really hmm well that's sad they are not that bad sometimes she asked me if I don't want to make something else that might give me more money than doing YouTube or um, selling my art on conventions but I guess it's normal that parents are always worried about what you're doing. So I, I hope I could answer your question. Um, I know that a lot of you are afraid about um, hearing the opinions of your parents about you doing art. Um, but I guess that you should be not that afraid of telling them about your hobby. Let them be part of it. Show them what you're doing. Show them what you like. If your parents see that you're serious about um, doing art, then I'm sure that they will support you. If you have any questions left, feel free to ask them in the comments down below. I would love to answer them in the next video. So now I have a question for you. What makes an artist? Share your thoughts in the comments. I'm pretty interested in what you have to say. That's the end of the video now. I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and like always, stay creative. Bye bye!